Welcome back to Sportsline here on News Channel 5 Plus. We continue our evening with our guy Jonathan Hutton from Outkick 360 as he joins us from his beautiful palatial home studio in beautiful <laughs> Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And uh, by the looks of things, Jay Hutt's quite the party over there tonight. Yeah, Claire's got her drink. Uh, Brody's got his uh, yarn ball and tennis ball, and you know we're we're good to go. It's a it's a happening place here on a Wednesday night. Oh, it sounds like a, it sounds like a lot of fun. You know, I was going to ask you about Deshaun Watson, but I'm just I'm fatigued. I really don't want to get into that. Yeah. You know, I just it is what it is. You know, I I, I pull for the folks in Cleveland. They've been waiting for a franchise quarterback for so long, and now yeah. they got to deal with this mess. I. I hope it works. I, first of all, I hope justice is served one way or the other. But I yes. certainly hope it works out for the Cleveland Browns. But I do want to ask you about what's going on in the world of professional golf. I'm not a golfer. I do not believe you are. But, you know, we follow the sports, certainly. All these PGA uh, players jumping over to the Live uh, Tour, they're paying big money. And we know the, where the money comes from, and that's a little shady, actually a lot shady. But, you know, Phil yeah. Mickelson, Bryson DeChambeau, Kevin Na, you know, uh, my goodness, uh, Justin Thomas, I believe. I mean, you know, these are big names that are going over to this tour, and the PGA is basically saying, all right, if you do, via con Dios, because you're not coming back here. But, of course, the PGA... You know, they only control one major. That's the PGA Championship, right? You know, the U.S. Open is USGA, and they said, you know, they, they can decide who plays and who doesn't. The Masters is Augusta National, as we know, and, you know, the British yeah. Open or the Open Championship, that's their deal over there in, in the U.K. So what do you make of all this, and are we going to see more PGA uh, players take the money and just go play over in the lift uh, tour because, hey, it's less holes, it's guaranteed money, in pro wrestling, we call it a downside guarantee plus whatever prize money you can get. As the million-dollar man Ted DiBiase said in the 80s, my friend, everybody has a price. No doubt. <laughs> um, and that's what this comes down to. Um, you know, the, the PGA also has a price. If Phil Mickelson wants to play one of his highlights on the match on TNT, he's got to pay a licensing fee to the PGA in order to show that highlight like mm -hmm. it, it, that that's his big beef and everybody had a i say everyone like the, the the initial response was mickelson is anti-american values because of his stance on the saudis because he pointed out you know there's some scary blank blank blanks <laughs> and yes they did all this why would i want to do this mm -hmm. i would do it because this is the greatest shot we have of changing the system that is the pga tour essentially voicing what every one of these other golfers are doing and and phil's now doing it too the only big like contradiction i have with the stance that people took at the time and i don't hear as much about it with dustin johnson and others honestly is so the, I, I use rbc as the example we could use kpmg who immediately pulled sponsorship on on phil uh, within if uh, within days, if not hours, um, those same companies, I would argue, are going to still want Google to have their company as one of the top search results if you search for a specific product uh, or company on Google. Google owns YouTube, which is live streaming this tour eight times this calendar year. Mm. Facebook and Zuckerberg they are live streaming the live tour throughout this calendar year um but these companies aren't pulling money from the streaming platforms that are essentially in business for the same exact reason so so that that's the the only thing i was like come on like mickelson's the bad guy but here we are and at the time it was it's mickelson and it's all these other for lack of a better word scrubs who are playing in this tour right now it's not mm -hmm. there are 19 top 100 players there are 48 players total um so far and there's a ton of money i mean the the, the purse upcoming uh, for the the london event is upwards of 30 million dollars the winner is going to get four million and to put in perspective the winner of the masters got around two million mm -hmm. 
So that they, they are making more than they ever had by playing in these eight events instead of 48 events on the PGA Tour. Mm. And they're getting money up front. I mean, Dustin Johnson's getting like $130 million <laughs> just to say he's a part of the tour. Mm. So I don't know what the PGA has in terms of a recourse, John, because they're taking the money. Uh, uh, we're going, and I say we, like the, we're going to see companies stream this. Eventually, a TV network's going to get involved and sure. show these events. Right. And they're getting some big names. So I, it's it's a very intriguing storyline. And, and the NBA is playing a preseason game over in Saudi Arabia next year or in a year and a half. It might be next preseason. I'm sure ESPN will carry that game. They've been silent on that. Uh, UFC and WWE, and we can transition to WWE off this, they do annual events in Jeddah or in Saudi Arabia or in um, and at, like a Fight Island, mm -hmm. which is all financed by the same people that uh, Mickelson was pointing out in his statement. So I, I'm, I'm fascinated to see what happens here. The PGA still has a lot of leverage with some players who are not named Phil Mickelson, right? Like there, right. there are still a, a number of players who won't get the guaranteed type money like Dustin Johnson and Phil Mickelson have received. But I've been really surprised over the last five days of how many players are just willing. Kevin Na, Kevin Na released a statement over the weekend resigning from the PGA Tour to join the Live Tour. Right. So, I mean, that, that tells you what what is at stake here and five of the no, six of the eight events no five, excuse me five of the eight events are played in the united states mm -hmm. um the next event will be in portland oregon mm -hmm. so it's it's not like they're all played in in saudi arabia but there it is financed by saudi funds and and that's the issue that uh you know is is really being debated right now mm. Boy, you know, you live long enough, you see everything, I guess, Jay Hutt. All right, well, on to a little Crazy. bit uh, you know, cheerier news. Uh, you and I are both <laughs> pro, pro wrestling fans. So much to get to. It's a huge summer for pro wrestling here in Nashville, potentially. And I, for one, am so excited about it. We got WWE SummerSlam coming July 30th. The day after yep. that, Jim Crockett Promotions will... Uh, feature Ric Flair, the greatest professional wrestler of all time. The Nature Boy. The Nature Boy is going to have his last match here in Nashville in a six-man tag. He's been training. He looks pretty good for 73 years old. God bless him. Uh, NWA is going to be doing some tapings here. Impact Wrestling, who I've been working with uh, off and on the last couple of years, uh, they're going to be back in town for their Slammiversary pay-per-view, which is uh, a huge event coming up in just uh, a matter of a couple of weeks here. I mean, if you're a pro wrestling fan, you don't have to leave home to see some of the best professional wrestling all summer long right here in Music City. This is huge. Um, and even if you're not a pro wrestling fan, it's it's a major event for the city itself. Um, there will be a, a if, if not just out of state travelers, but um, in, in some cases, international visitors for this. Um, it's the first. Did they do a big stadium last year for SummerSlam? I think they, they did. did I think it was LA, in Arizona. Maybe. I can't remember exactly where yeah, it was. You know, you're but right. yeah, it was did. in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. It was in the baseball park. Mm -hmm. um, this this is more. I mean, this is going to be jammed, jam packed. Is it? Uh, you know, is it rains against Orton? Is that the perceived main event of this? That is that um, is potential. I've heard John Cena may come back for this. You know, yeah. you're hearing all, you it's, know, this time of year, it's the second biggest pay-per-view WWE has. So they may bring back some of the stars of yesteryear. I mean, it could be, it, it, it could be all kinds of names showing up. I think this is a great precursor for if, if we've, you know, you, we, we, I think maybe the last time we were on a month ago on, on here on Sportsline, we were talking about the stadium and then the new one that's going to happen. Um, and I, I said, look, if, 2026 is the perceived launch date for the new stadium. I think by 2030, WrestleMania will be here because Vince McMahon always tries to get the first event other than the Super Bowl. He tries to get a year before the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. And with the way they plan that uh, calendar out for the Super Bowl, they do it three years er out. So um, I, th I think around 2030, if the stadium is on track, WrestleMania will be here um, and will be 
we won't be talking about Summer Slams anymore. But it, it, it's cool because it's more than just an arena show. It is truly a spectacle, and they do it right. They go, they, they go all out with the production value, so it should be a blast. And then all the events around it. You mentioned Ric Flair's final match. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I love Flair. I don't know if I would want to watch it. I know, I know, I know you do. Like, and I understand why. Yeah. But there's also like this kind of. Uh, yeah. I, what are we really gonna get? I don't want to see we... him at at, yeah. his, at his worst. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that, that's that's kind of where I'd rather I am see him. You it. know, if I'm gonna watch him wrestle in uh, in in Nashville, we gotta go to a break after this. But uh, if I want to see him in Nashville, yeah. I would have rather see him in 1989 over yeah. across oh, the yeah. street at Memorial Auditorium against Ricky Steamboat. Yes. So, yeah, but uh, it's going to be a huge event. Hang tight, Jay Hutt. We're going to take another break and come back and talk a little bit more. It's another evening with Jonathan Hutton right here on Sportsline. Back after this.